Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Diane and my passion is painting and creating nature-inspired watercolours in my studio, which are easy for you to do too. I share all my paintings with you on YouTube and on our website, dianenton.com, you can find free downloadable sketches for all the videos to help you make the most of your painting journey. And if you'd like a little bit more, we also have channel memberships with loads of perks for you to enjoy. So welcome on board, click subscribe and turn on notifications and let's learn to paint watercolour. So it must be something to do with time of year. Oh, hello, by the way, it's Diane here. Welcome to my studio, hope everyone's well. It must be something to do with the time of the year, getting so close to Christmas, a little bit of madness has hit us all, but um, I've been struggling to think what to paint next and um, I decided to do some penguins and uh, by some very bizarre coincidence, another YouTuber who obviously we all follow with great interest has also chosen the same subject as me. So it's going to look like I'm copying her, but I'm not because this was planned a couple of weeks ago actually. And um, so here we are, I'm doing it now. I should have put it up sooner. Anyway, here we have a couple of three actually, three emperor penguins, and they are on their way to visit the baby Jesus because they are in the guise of the three kings from Orient far. To Jordan followed the pointing star. And this the quest of the Travellers Three and so on. So um, I'm just drawing their outlines here using my um, light box and um, the sketch will be available for you to download for free from my website. So if you just pop along to dianeanton.com, you can download the sketch should you feel that way inclined. Um, no charge for that, of course. I've drawn this before now. This is my third, fourth uh, go round. I have never in my whole entire life drawn a penguin before it has to be said, but I don't know why the uh, desire to do so seized me the other day. I thought, well, why not? Now they have long beaks with a sort of hooky thing on the end, which I think is there to help them catch fish. And um, they're actually not that difficult to draw in a kind of semi-cartoony sort of way. I wouldn't like to say these are anatomically correct, but they have a certain penguinness about them, don't they? I started to record this. Actually, that's the funny thing is, um, I'm just straightening the camera out there. I did actually start to record this a week ago and um, I got halfway through it and I realized I hadn't turned the camera on. Oh, silly me, what an idiot. So I stopped in great humphness and said, humph, uh, okay, I'm not gonna do that then. I'll go and do something else. And um, yes. So anyway, so here we have the three penguin kings, emperors or whatever, and uh, just drawing in their um, treasures that they're bringing. We have a little treasure chest here, which is clearly containing gold little box, nice little strong box with a keyhole on the front and some studs on the sides and some bands of metal keeping it nice and safe inside. What's inside there? This is, so that's the gold, this is the frankincense and this is the myrrh. So you can put whatever design you want on there. And then they're standing on a, an ice floe. It's a ridiculous painting, isn't it? Absolutely ridiculous. Has nothing to do with reality. Anyway, so there's a track going off in that direction, as you can see. And uh, these two are in discussion and this one's fed up because they're lost and uh, they don't know where to go 
which is a bit of a shame really because if they opened their little penguin eyes they would see that the baby Jesus was just over there and we'll just put a star above them pointing the way. And oh yes, and in the background here, just to make sure that everybody knows that we're in penguin land, there's an iceberg. So let's get rid of the light box. And we'll give that a good painting. So um, I'm going to be using what? What am I going to be using? I am going to be using Payne's Grey and um, just a tick. Ugh. I knew I'd put them somewhere. Payne's grey, cobalt blue, ultramarine, perhaps, quinacridone gold. I had them already. And um, we might use a little bit of um, the starry colours here. So I'll just wet those. I might use that for their crowns. Pop that there for a sec. Okay, so let's find our brush. I think a number seven, probably do. Number seven round, probably do for most of it. And um, yeah, so we've got the nice outlines. We don't need to worry too much about shape. Um, penguins are basically black and emperor penguins have a little bit of um, yellow around here, not a great deal, but just a little. So we'll pop that in. And then I'm going to pick up um, some, uh, oh, hang on a second, I've forgotten. The other place that they have the yellow is in here, where it's a little bit stronger. And that's the reason why I didn't uh, go straight ahead with the black, but um, anyway, I will now. So I'm coming in with Payne's Grey, and I don't mind if it runs a little bit, and I don't mind if it isn't exactly inside the lines. And the way it works with penguins is that it tends to be on the edges of their wings and their feet, oddly enough, are black and around their heads so if you haven't got Payne's grey don't worry just use black and you could add a tiny little dab of ultramarine because Payne's Grey is just really a greyish black. I mean, a bluish black. Duh. Okay, and uh, their um, beaks, when we come to them, are also mostly black on the Emperor Penguin. if anyone's interested in my opinion about the difference between um, pans and tubes there isn't really any they've got the same paint in them the, uh, the pans are allowed to dry before they're sold so they um, and they don't have as much what do you call it in them Uh, 
But once you've added water, you can use them both the same. Or if you let your tube paint dry like I do, always like this, that's the same as having a pan. Okay, so that's, that's the penguins done. And we'll just put a little bit of shadow on their bodies using cobalt blue. The more random, the better, I think. And very light, doesn't need to be dark. So the exciting thing is painting the star. Oops. And their crowns. So I'm using starry colors. Kuritake, that one is yellow gold. This one looks like he's wearing a one of those puffs, you know, those cushiony things like people used to use. Keep that fairly simple. Um, a little box of gold. And um, let's make this one more silvery. And maybe make this one darker. Could put some decoration on there afterwards if you want. There we are. And uh, I'm going to get a big brush for the um, iceberg behind, which I'm just going to indicate a little bit of shadow of the ice. Oh, I'm using Etival, uh, Clairefontaine Etival paper here, which is a an inexpensive 100% cellulose paper, which is quite nice because it works really well and isn't terribly expensive. And then we'll put a little bit of a different shade of blue underneath the penguin's feet. And just leading up here on the path. And then pop back to a smaller brush. It's quite a lot smaller. And then traditionally Mary, of course, always wears blue. And Joseph, I think, usually wears burnt sienna. So we'll just indicate them very lightly. And the little uh, barn that they're in, just paint that in a light colour. And maybe we'll put some, some gold behind them because they would be bound to have a little light in there and if they didn't Jesus would be shining his light wouldn't he so that's that and uh, just a little bit of some kind of brownie color for the manger that's not really brown is it let's try again no nope. uh, let's try this there we are Okay, now you have a question here as to whether or not you're going to paint the sky, the uh, nighttime sky or not. What do you think? I don't know, but now this is dry, I'm going to come back in and do another little coat of black here where it's dried a bit, because you know, watercolour always dries lighter, doesn't it? So I'll just leave those shades to kind of just, because they're quite dark, I think, penguins, but it doesn't necessarily mean to say that you want them to be super dark in your painting. So 
So I think really probably the best thing to do rather than um, rather than uh, paint the sky, I think what I'll do is I'll just, I'll just cover that all up and I'm going to put some spatter in light blue for snow. And a bit of silver as well. Just a little bit of texture in this guy. So there we are, three kings, three emperor penguin kings on their way to find Jesus in the middle of nowhere. So I hope you enjoyed watching me do that quickie and um, I'll see you again soon. Bye now. Bye everybody. Bye bye.